Welcome back to another week of how to find the horse you're looking for in Briar Blind Bags. This week we have the Briar Spirit Riding Free Mystery Horse. <clears throat> um, this is the original Series 1, so you may find them in the stores, but the Series 2 has a little symbol on them that says Series 2. These are Series 1 horses. So the first thing we're going to do is turn them over and look at what we got on the back. In this case, we do not have a <coughs> chaser or surprise horse. The Golden Spirit, I believe, is the it has been said to be the rare one. But in this case, there is no mystery. We know what all the horses are. It shows them on the back, so that's going to help our search considerably. <coughs> in this case... There's one horse that's very easy to identify, Senor Carrots, the little tiny donkey. He's much smaller than the rest. So if you pick up a bag that feels like it weighs about a quarter of all the rest of them and it feels like there's almost nothing in it, it's going to be him. Other than that, let's go to town and use our skills to see what we have here. <coughs> um, so squeezing gently, um, this is going to hopefully <laughs> make up for a couple of weeks ago. This is a very wide base horse. Um, you can see how wide that horse is. Um, this is going to be one set of legs. I'm going to follow the legs up to the body. And then I'm going to follow out. So here is something and here is something else. So he's kind of oriented this way. So there's my body. I've got legs down here. This is definitely much longer, so this is a head, and this is much shorter, this is a tail. So now I've oriented myself. I, I'm going to say this, in this case, I don't have any, well, I do. This guy is pretty wide base. That Golden Spirit and Bubblegum, the Rainer, are my two wide-based horses. Everybody else is fairly skinny and narrow-based. Um, but let's follow through. So in this case, the leg is very skinny. Following it up to the body, <coughs> the legs, the, the hooves are very close together. Here's two hooves on this side. Here's two hooves on this side. So the hooves are all really close together. So I'm going to say it's not the spirit because the spirit is like, woo, all out there. <coughs> um, very wide follow it back up to the body. This is pretty short and curly. Remember a couple of weeks ago, I was talking about that little short curly tail that the Rainer has. And in this case, <clears throat> the head is straight, has a little feeling like a little mane, but definitely the mane is not sticking up. See our golden spirit, the mane is sticking up. So this horse is very base wide, short curly tail, <clears throat> no sticky uppy mane. It's it's got to be bubble gum. Come on, let's see if it's bubble gum. It is bubble gum. So here we have that real base wide, short and curly tail, straight on head with no mane up over the top. So there you have it. That's if you're looking for bubble gum. That's how to find him. Um, this looks like another very base wide one. Um, Wow, this is weird. Oh, I see. <clears throat> so in this case, um, he, he, he's sitting on his back. His legs are here. <laughs> Look at how far apart these legs are there. Um, again, very wide. Um, but in this case, the legs are woo all over the place. Follow it back down to the body. Identify a tail and a head. Again, I don't know which is which. Um, this, whatever it is that I'm feeling, is very <clears throat> um, kind of forks at the bottom. And if you look at the bottom of that golden spirit, his tail kind of forks out. So I'm going to say this is his tail. And when I come up to the head, the head is curved and has... Um, a sticky outy mane. So now I have very base wide, legs splayed apart, opposite of him with the legs together. I have a longer tail that forks out 
and I've got a sticky outie mane. So heads down here, tails over here, legs are up. And let's see what we got. There we go. So see how that tail forks down there at the bottom? See how wide based he is, but they're all spraddled out and how he has that mane. So um, these are both going to be very wide base horses, but other than that, especially, but if you, if you weren't paying attention, you could have thought this was a head and their tails are a little similar. So, so make sure that you do the legs, body, tail, head, and mane, because if, if you're feeling a blind bag, um, you could mislead yourself. I've done that myself. So these are all just trying to get across concepts so that you can apply them to any blind bag that you come across. <clears throat> so I have a narrow horse. He has legs that are very splattered, like very far apart. Here's one leg, here's one leg. Um, follow the legs up to the body. And then a head and a tail. So this is a very long horse, but he is base narrow. So he is none of these. These are very short horses. Not Senor Carrots. <clears throat> Probably not Chica Linda probably not Junipero, probably one of these three over here that are the much longer uh, legs far apart. See how these legs are much closer together. Legs, <coughs> body, tail, and head. So what is different about these guys? They all have tails that are sticking out. They all have, well, this, this guy doesn't have legs that are bent, so that's going to be so let me see if I can identify. This feels like a tail. This feels like a head. So the tail is fairly out. So this is one leg. It's pretty straight. So this leg, I'm going to say that his head is here. This leg is straight. I'm going to say this leg is curved. So it is not tomahawk because he has very straight legs in the front. And this leg is definitely bent. So now this is tricky because these two horses are substantially similar. They both have tails that are running out. They both have uh, manes that are flying and he definitely has a mane that's flying. They both have a bent front leg. However, this guy, his legs are farther out back behind him. His back legs are underneath him. So I'm gonna go back here to the tail and so here's the tip of his tail and I'm going to come straight down from that and here's a hoof. So who does that look like? That looks like this guy. Here's the tip of his tail and here's his hoof. This guy, the tip of his tail is way out behind him and that leg comes straight down. If I follow his butt and his tail and then I follow this leg, it comes back. <clears throat> so there we go. We have a leg bent a tail out and a back leg. So let's see what we got. There we go. So this is that spirit. <clears throat> and this back leg is so far back underneath his tail. Um, he has that front bent leg. He has a mane. <clears throat> and um, he is definitely very stretched out. So again, use those principles. Feel the legs, feel the body, feel the head, <coughs> wide base, narrow base, or the legs bent. <coughs> I'm having another moment. Um, but using these techniques, you can use them to look at the back of the box, see what you're looking for, and then hopefully you'll be able to find the horse that you are looking for. So go out there and find a bl blind bag and find a horse. Good luck. <laughs>